Hi dear students and viewers, welcome back to our channel and Vinay Kumar Basics of Physics. This is the right place to learn. Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss about the one of the important topic that is for IPE at the same time for competitive exams. That is nothing but motion of a body while a body is rolling on the inclined plane without any slipping then we have to find out the energy of the body at the same time we have to find out the velocity on reaching the ground from the plane okay let's go for that the question should be like this derive expressions for the final velocity and total energy of a body rolling without slipping so children so this is the one inclined plane clear and it will make some angle with the horizontal so like this and that should be at a height of h well at a height of h clear children and here there is one body is there or any body clear that should be having some radius r radius r that is rolling and that should be comes like this along the plane that should be like coming like this clear so now we have to find out the we are taking a body that should be having some mass and that should be having some radius r that is rolling along the inclined plane without any slipping then we have to find out the velocity on reaching the horizontal surface and what is the total energy of the body that is the thing we have to discuss clear children once the body is sliding down or rolling down when it is rolling without skipping or slipping what how to say that should be consists of two types of motion one is translatory motion next thing is rotatory motion because initial position is this one and final position is this one so we are explaining the motion along the plane that's why it is translatory motion how it can move it is rotating rolling when it is rolling that should be having some angular motion rotatory motion that should be having some rotational kinetic energy that's why here the energy can experienced by the body should be in form of translational kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy clear here in this case the energy of the body means it is nothing but sum of translational kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy clear children so later we discuss in detail first we have to go for velocity velocity of the body rolling body when it reaches the horizontal surface with what velocity that is moving so for that we have to some derivation is there in this case we are using one condition children that is law of conservation of energy what it is law of conservation of energy what is the law of conservation of energy the energy changes from one form to the another form and the total energy remains constant so in this case we are according to the according to the law of conservation of energy clear the energy at this point must be equal to the energy at this point that means what simply here we are adding potential energy at the top top of plane that should be equals to the sum of translation kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy clear children so the potential energy of the body should be equals to the kinetic energy here what is kinetic energy again here translation kinetic energy and translational kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy clear children so the body mass is m 
the body mass is what m and its radius is what r while it is in rotation the radius of gyration is nothing but i is equals to m r square is the moment of inertia and if you can take in the terms of rotary motion i is equals to m k square what is k here radius of gyration what is radius of gyration that's why here simply the potential energy is nothing but here what it is m g and that should be right of h that's what right i is potential energy equals to m g h and now translation and energy so what we know of m v square of m v square is the translational kinetic energy and similarly here rotational kinetic energy means of i omega square you have to remember so in translatory motion the kinetic energy given by the formula of m v square here mass so in in case of rotary motion instead of mass what right as moment of inertia we can write so we have to remember that children so now here simply m g h is equals to of m v square plus of here what is i i is the moment of inertia m k square and what is v v is equals to r omega from that omega means what right v by r we can write so substitute here i means what m k square of omega value is what v by r all square then what do you get m g h is equals to of m v square plus of m k square v square by r square a by b all square a square by b square like that so children in this what we common m is common we also common here i am adding m g h is equals to m v square of what are you children here simply 1 by 2 plus k square by r square of 1 by 2 so here what it symbol again if you take 1 by 2 also common simply what right of k square 1 by 2 clear so mg is equals to of mv square of 1 plus k square by r square here 2 mm cancel then what do you get here 2 gh is equals to v square of 1 plus k square by r square so from that what we shall learn v square means what you have right v square is nothing but what it is 2 gh by 2 gh by 1 plus k square by r square k square by r square then what it is v is equals to under root of 2 gh by 1 plus k square by r square this is the velocity so velocity of the body when the body is rolls along the inclined plane without any slip so next we go for energy now we have to derive the expression for energy of a rolling body on inclined plane so in this case the total energy of the body is nothing but combination of translational kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy so here just now only i told you what it is so here initially the body is here and it is here when we compare the center of mass that should be in translatory motion and when the axis passes through the center of mass then it is in rotatory motion that's why here the energy what it is there should be taken as combination of translational and rotational kinetic energy so that is only i am writing here so total energy total energy is equals to translational kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy Tra translational rotational so total energy is equals to et plus er clear so what is et what we know of m v square of m v square plus of i omega square now in this case we have to substitute v is equals to r omega what is r radius then e is equals to of m into r omega all square plus of into here what is i i is equals to m k square k is the radius of gyration 
so m k square m k square omega square clear then what read e is equals to of m r square omega square plus of m k square omega square from that what we common we can take common of m omega square then what you get r square plus k square so this is the expression for energy of the rolling body and the same equation can be written as like this e is equals to of m omega square r square is if you can take comma what you get 1 plus k square by r square so now this is the expression for energy of your body rolling along the inclined plane so children i hope that you can understand this one if you can understand this one like share comment the video and subscribe my channel for latest updates so thank you for watching